Good day everyone. I'm Vince Paul Hugelon, a member of the CMPL Semiconductor Group under the research team of Dr. Elmer Estacio. In this short video, I will give a brief overview of my master's thesis. Quantum dots are nanomaterials that exhibit three-dimensional confinement of charge carriers. A common way of growing quantum dots is with the stransky krasnov method where the buffer layer is grown, followed by one or two monolayers of the dot material known as the wetting layer. After reaching a critical thickness, it becomes more energetically favorable to transition from layer by layer to island growth, thereby forming the quantum dots. Structures that are grown through this method are known as self-assembled quantum dots. In this study, I plan to investigate the ultra-fast photogenerated carrier dynamics which occur in an indium arsenide on gallium arsenide self-assembled quantum dot system. The carrier dynamics are indicated in the band diagram on the right-hand side and are also modeled by a set of coupled differential rate equations shown below. The lifetimes of these processes may be investigated via OPTP spectroscopy, where an optical pulse will generate a carrier density in the sample. After a short time delay, a terahertz probe beam will be transmitted through the sample and its amplitude will be attenuated due to the sensitivity of terahertz radiation to free carriers. Figure 4 shows the photogenerated carrier decay for different optical pump fluents. These were linearized to extract carrier lifetimes, which is proportional to the slope of the curves in Figure 5, and shows a change in the dynamics at about 800 picoseconds. Numerical solutions from the rate equation model were then compared with the linearized plot showing good agreements between the two datasets. Saturation of the gas barrier was also observed at the 30 and 100 microjoules per cm squared fluents. Lastly, Drude global fitting was performed to extract the time-dependent plasma frequency and scattering time. A similar transition was observed at about 800 picoseconds which further supports experimental data and provides credence to the proposed model of carrier dynamics. Thank you very much for listening.